This is the Exa Telecom S30 Open Ear Wireless Headphones. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual and a really nice case over here. Really nice zippered case. It even has a loop on it and this loop has a thing so you can clip it on. So that's really nice. Open that up. Nice zipper on there and you have the charging base and USB cable. So let's pull these out for a moment over here. This is a charging base for the headset. You'll see it's in two separate pieces. So one goes on each ear. Like I said, these are open ear uh, headphones, which basically means that nothing is going in your ear canal itself. That's a great thing for a number of reasons. First and foremost, you can hear what's going on around you. This acts like somebody whispering in your ear. If somebody's doing that and there's a truck driving by, you can hear the truck and them whispering. But of course, these are going to be much louder than a whisper. They're going to produce some very nice sound. So the way it works here is the headphones you put on, one has a microphone as you see there so it's Bluetooth 5.3 you can connect up to your phone with it in fact it has an extended Bluetooth range of 99 feet and of course they give you the USB cable which is USB to USB-C let me tell you just a little bit more about that first and then we'll go ahead and test it out these headphones are IPX5 waterproof the microphone has ENC noise cancellation, electronic noise cancellation. What that means is it's going to hear what's going on around you. Take those sounds, do an inverse of the wave of those sounds, and pretty much cancel them out. It works quite well, as a matter of fact. These are going to have a 9-hour talk time on them and a 16-hour listening time if you're just listening to music. Now, a five-minute charge will give you one hour of playback for music, and you can recharge the headphones in only two hours. This charging base right here recharges the headphones after 70 hours of total music. It can put into the headphones, and then you recharge it with the USB cable. So basically, whether this is plugged in or not, provided it has charge, you drop the headphones in there and they will recharge right off of that. The base gets recharged when it needs to. Let's go ahead. I'll show you what they look like once put on and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, I want to show you how to put these on. All right, so you have your left and your right uh, phones over here you'll see the little area with the holes in it. This is the right one, the one with the microphone is the left one. If you try to put them on backwards, not going to fit. So you'll know you're doing it wrong. They go on a little strange, so I'm going to demonstrate it to you. It looks like, see what happens is the sound comes out of that little area and it looks like, okay, it should fit over your ear. And you'd be trying and trying, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't go over your ear. You have to put it on the right way. It's really easy. Let me turn. Now look, take this part over here, and you're going to slide it back around your ear. Just like that. It's one smooth movement, and it's really easy once you understand just get it right behind your ear and rotate into place. See, just like that, it rotates into place. The microphone comes down, just like that, and that's it. Once you have them on, you don't even know it. They're very, very lightweight. You don't feel them. They're not hanging on you. They're not heavy or anything like that. And, like I said, the best part, you can still hear what's going on around you. So let me get these hooked up to the phone. I'm going to listen to them, tell you what I think of them, and then, of course, we'll do a sound test. 
Just go to the Bluetooth on your phone, Exatelecom S30. I mean, it's connecting up Bluetooth like you would for anything else. There we go. We're all set. It even tells you the battery life on the headset. So I've taken a listen to these uh, headphones and they're excellent all around. The sound is not going to be studio quality stuff because that's simply not what it's meant for. It's meant for teleconferencing, some light music, stuff like that, uh, etc. Okay, it's a Bluetooth headset. We know about all of that and what they can and cannot do in terms of providing uh, excellent sound quality. It is very good all around, but again, it's not going to be any kind of studio quality stuff. It's simply not made for that. But like I said, it will excel in telecommunication, which is part of the name. The microphone is actually quite good, and we're going to do a sound sample of that. So I have a uh, sound recorder voice recorder app on the phone so I'm going to record a sample with it right now it says that the headset is what's going to be used for the recording so here we go this is a test recording of the Exa Telecom S30 wireless open ear headset and now I'm going to play that right back this is a test recording of the Exa Telecom S30 wireless open ear headset. So the pros of it, really lightweight, you don't even know it's there. You hear what's coming in around you along with whatever the headset is playing, whether somebody you're talking to or some music or a video or anything like that. And the sound quality all around is good. Microphone is quite good as well. Cons? what tell me there really aren't any it's got excellent battery life I haven't found a bad thing about it if you'd like to purchase this headset I'm gonna leave a link in the video description to the Kickstarter page for it thanks so much for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye